Welcome back, everybody. Week 15 of the Cashing Points DFS live stream, DFS podcast, however you're consuming it, we appreciate y'all. Uh, listen, I mean, this week has been nuts. We've already had two games moved off of the main slate. Seahawks Rams has been moved to Tuesday, as has Washington and the Eagles. Both of those games are on Tuesday now. Uh, so, you know, we condensed the slate here quite a bit. A um, couple things off the top. We got a new layout. It looks amazing. Ben always does an amazing job with the layout. We're going a little more vertical, a little more condensed. It looks great. Uh, you can see at the top of the screen, we are running early bird specials right now, 30% off up until February 13th, which is like right after the Super Bowl. So you got a little bit of time, but get 30% off right now. It's by far uh, the best deal we'll have for, for 2022. And if you've been rocking with us all this time, I uh, definitely want you guys to save a little bit of your cash in front of the holiday. So get on that now, 30% off until the Super Bowl. But uh, guys, uh, this has been, I mean, not, putting it lightly would be uh, saying this is a crazy week, but I mean, this is, I mean, Jesus, I've been working full-time in fantasy now for seven years. And I've, I mean, obviously COVID's changed all of our lives, but um, I mean, this, this week has just been, absolutely insane i was telling scott before the show i mean working ahead this week has been like futile and scott i'm, I'm sure writing the the slate breakdown and keeping up with everything this week uh with dfs has been has been a nightmare so i know you're running on very <laughs> very little sleep and running on fumes but man how are you how are you holding up over there and um i mean how you feel about the slate right now because it's it's a it's a nightmare yeah, so a few things. One, definitely do take advantage of our early bird, super early bird special, 30% off, cheapest we're ever going to be. If you're like me, you're like, oh, that's awesome. That's a great deal. I'm totally going to do that. And you just never do it. And then we're full price and you're mad at yourself. So do that right now. Click, click try and you know, pay for next year. Get it at the cheapest price. Uh, two, I do not like this vertical layout. I'm, I, this is the first time I'm seeing it only because I'm super ADD and I know I'm going to have a, a really hard time staying in focus. I'm like actually not even in focus now. I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, 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 to fix it, but I'm, I'm really technologically disabled as You're Johnny boomer, Scott. Everything's going vertical, man. Everything's vertical now. TikTok's vertical, Snapchat's vertical, Instagram's vertical. I, I know. I know. I'm diagonal. Uh, <laughs> three, what a, a cluster F of a slate. What a, what a cluster F of a day. The NFL, a total cluster F. This show is going to be an absolute mess. It's going to be legendary, though. It's going to be one you tell your kids about. They'll tell their kids. They'll tell their, their grandkids. Uh, you know, legendary. I remember where I was at watching the Cashing Points podcast back in week 15. Let me tell you, those boys got through it. I'll tell you what. Sorry. Sorry. I like that. I like that. I like that voice. Uh, yeah. And, and I'm, I'm a cluster F right now. I, I did not sleep last night. I just, I, I have insomnia that flares up every now and then, but it's also, I think it was, I just like, didn't get a lot of work done and I was laying in bed and I was like, oh, I, I like hate that feeling. So I just didn't go to sleep and I just chugged a lot of caffeine, wrote like 9,000 words and then had to re-edit like 4,000 words, had to delete 3,000 more, write another 2,000 and then a two. And it's just like, what a mess. What an absolute mess. Johnny, how are you? Good man. Uh, you know, Scott would sleep a little better if he wasn't up on uh, Reddit scrolling the latest, uh, you know, clay diets at, at 3 a.m. <laughs> in bed, you know, blue light, bad for your uh, uh, sleep system in the evenings, but you know, we'll get there. And to be fair, Scott, you used to be very vertical with your trash can overturned and your laptop on it. So <laughs> come on, man, this should be second nature. The, the glory days. I refuse to buy a desk for my uh, apartment so or a coffee table even. So I just like would overturn my trash can and then set the laptop on top of it. And we did that for like a year. Yep. Bro, I, Ikea desks are like 60 bucks. You, you could have shelled out like 60 bucks at Ikea. Yeah, shout out to, to Run for Johnny who, who paypal me 50 bucks and was like, just buy a coffee table, which I did. It was, it was very nice. <laughs> Rummy's the man, always been the man. Uh, all right, guys, let's do it. Um, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, yeah, nine games uh, main slate now with all of the moving and shuffling here. So um, the good news is it's actually kind of clean. I was going through all the injury reports um, uh, I, I, before the show, like I always do. And in terms of COVID, in terms of injuries, like with these nine games now, it's it's kind of clean, but it's not not a good slate. There's a lot of games now with just, you know, the, you know, the Bills are 10-point favorites. Cardinals are uh, double-digit favorites. Dolphins are double-digit favorites. Cowboys are huge favorites. So it's it's still a pretty gross slate overall, but the good news is it's it's fairly clean. There's only a couple, like, really big news items we're waiting on. And we'll get us started here with Panthers and the Wait, Bills. So I, I just want to say a few things about the slate as a whole. Yeah. Uh, it is, like, a, a gross slate. You, you remove all these games, and it was already short on games anyway. So there, there wasn't a lot to like. Uh, and, and there's so many different moving pieces, even still, where it's like, okay, unknown variables, but if this guy's out, then this other guy swings plus five points in his projection, and he's a great play, otherwise he's just a mediocre play, or this guy does play, and this guy's, so, so that makes it tricky, but I, I do think my grasp on this slate is really good, really excited to talk all these plays, uh, a few things though, like losing Cooper Cup. Now I have no idea how to build my lineups this week. Yeah. Uh, but outside of that, I, I, I do think uh, I think we have a big edge because we're we're up to date on everything, and uh, I, I think I have a really good grasp on the slate. Yeah, that's the thing is is running back this week is is an absolute nightmare. I mean, it was really bad before those games got moved, and it's it's especially bad now. Um, so yeah, figuring out I mean where to spend up is 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 going to be really hard this week, but let's do it. Uh, Panthers, Bills, uh, Bills, 11 point favorites, over under 44 and a half. And um, this is like maybe the only game this week that's pr like pretty much 100% clean for COVID. Uh, injury notes I have, Manny Sanders is out. He's got a knee injury. He's going to miss this week. And DJ Moore was limited all week with a hamstring. Josh Allen was actually just taken off the injury report um, a uh, like literally a couple minutes ago. Uh, ben, I like the side swipe there with that uh, Panthers Bills game. That's nice, man. That's nifty. Um, all right, Allen's good to go. Um, Johnny, man, um, I mean, we've seen plenty of times where Josh Allen has you know the highest ceiling on the slate. Uh, he's fully healthy, and now we have like a pretty condensed um, target tree between you know Diggs, Gabe Davis, Dawson Knox. Um, how do the bills shake out for you here this week? Yeah, Josh Allen joined uh, the double bonus club last week. Um, he, you know, <clears throat> continues to be the guy, you know, pretty much the only guy in the NFL that has that in his range of outcomes uh, every week. And, you know, it's never, it hasn't been pretty for the bills this year. And I don't think it will really ever be pretty for them this year. But this is a Panthers team that is just, um, I hope, I think, Matt Rule is a, is a dead man walking. Uh, this Panthers team is just a total garbage organization at this point. Um, DJ Moore banged up, you know, no CMC. Um, I worry what Allen's ceiling is here because I am, I don't know if the Panthers are going to show up. Um, you know, they are.